Hey, howdy, everybody. Welcome back to me. Zoltox uh, told me to listen to 24 light years on stream, on my last request stream, which has been a little while since I did my last request stream. I have played it so much that it is currently number eight on my top tracks of all time on Spotify, and it has pumped witness to my number four most played album of all time on Spotify. Even though I have not listened to the rest of the album, I have only listened to 24 Light Years, but I have played it so much that it has <laughs> bumped my stats up tremendously. But today I'm going to finally listen to the rest of Witness. <laughs> We're off to such a good start already. I was going to pause and talk about it, but I'm not going to. I just need to listen. There's something happening back there. I can barely hear it. The harmonies. The vocal harmonies, dude. No! This needs to be louder. That key change was immaculate. Oh, the little... This is way too much of a cup for pink lemonade. That did not disappoint. The <laughs> All right, we're two for two on tracks from this album. This part, that change between the first section and this section, where you have the chord change, where you know we're in the key of F sharp minor here, and we're he we're here. And then the chord goes up a half step. And we're, we're in a G major chord now, but the melody is still the same. And it creates this amazing dissonance between the two sections where the first part is just kind of like, okay, we're, we're kind of outside the chord a little bit. You have this one note that's outside of the chord here. But F sharp minor chord, F sharp A, C sharp, and then this D is a little bit of dissonance here. But then we go here. And then suddenly these three notes that were part of the chord are not part of the chord anymore. This is heavier instrumentally than I expected. Based on applause and 24 light years. Oh, that's such a good riff. Dude, the vocal flow is so good, too. Not just the melody, but the flow of it is amazing. <laughs> Ooh. Love that chord. Ooh. Whoa. The structure of these songs is so interesting. Ah, oh, It has elements of traditional song structure, but they feel so unique in how they're executed. I'm gonna explain why this feels so weird in a minute, but it's very strange, very strange chord progression. A little bit of a scream, a little bit. Just a, just a wee bit in the background. <laughs> this is something else. I knew this was going to be good, but this is amazing. This is such a strange chord progression, because we're kind of in the key of F sharp minor here a little bit. And then we have a tritone interval, which I've mentioned before, but if you don't know what it is, it's basically the exact midpoint between um, two of the same note. So like take C, for example. C is, C is the easiest one to, to see. C to C, and if you go like... And if you go inward until you reach the exact middle, it's the exact middle point. If you play C, if I play C and then exact middle point, it's ugly. And that's what we have here. F sharp to, to C, it's the same two notes. 
But if you play them together, they're so weird. It feels so unnatural to play them like as a chord progression, but it's so cool. It sounds really, really unique. And we've reached my favorite song. All that I need is to find you. Gray swarms of ash blocking my view. Sound. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. Go watch my video if you want to see me hear this song for the first time and cry. That's so genius because up until now it's been it's been just like. And then this last time, he goes. Sorry. And just that little, that little melody change keeps it exciting and kind of keeps you on your toes. Where they've cemented this melody, and he sings it a few times over, and it's like, oh, this is a good melody. Then he has conversation, and you're like, whoa. And that's when. That's when I think it really hit for me on my first time. You can see my mouse. Let me turn that off. There we go. That's when I think it really hit for me my first time listening to this song. When I heard conversation, and I was like, this is not only a great melody, but these guys know how to write great melodies and then change them up a little bit and elaborate on them and build on them and where to go with the next melody. This is genius. This is genius songwriting. And already, we're improving on this melody that we've had in the first verse. This time, it only, instead of doing that same melody four times, ba 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 bum here, we have, all of my sleep is behind you, pay me a dream I can pass through, and then straight up into, I could leave this house, but I won't. So that's already one change. But the other change is now there's more going on in the instrumentals, and the drums are doing more of, like, the first time, it's just kind of like, and there's like there's a little bit of keeping the beat but not really it's more so like very free while still keeping the beat but then here it's much more you got that symbol tss, 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 where it, it's it's hitting the quarter notes you've also got the the little that from the first first verse is kind of elaborated on in the boo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo, and then there's more stuff going on here it's preventing the song from being boring where okay i love that i think that's that's probably the best instrumental thing in this whole song in this song here's the key we're in we're in the key of like like f sharp or not f sharp sorry f f minor and we have, we're going from here, we're going to this, which is the six, and then the seven, and then the one. It's playing with this specific chord progression. And then we go to the bridge, and we have that. Ah! <laughs> And then we hit this chord, which is the the major key, A flat major. It's the the relative major of F minor. So we've been playing with F minor a lot. And then we go to the relative major. And if you don't know what that means, it just means they share a key signature. Same number of black keys as the like F sharp. I keep saying F sharp. F minor and A flat major are relative keys. Major, minor, major. This is one of the best written songs I've heard in a long time. And then right at the very end, they throw us a little loop, so we have the... Where it's always been... 20... Twi whatever it is. 24 footprints obtained. It's always been that. Now he now he sings 24 footprints obtained. And it's a little bit different. 24 footprints 
obtain. Even at the very end, they're not just resting on their laurels and saying, hey, we wrote a good song. This is the ending of it. Blah, 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 whatever. Here's the chorus again. No, they change it up even at the very end and they throw in this other chord here. A little minor five chord. This could very well be uh, the best song I've heard in 2024 and the year has just started. I don't know if anything else can top this. Now, this next song I've heard the first two seconds of because every time I listen to it, in my, in my car or whatever, I will forget that I'm playing it off the album version, and then I hear like the first two seconds of the like, and I'm like, ah, stop, so I don't get spoiled. So I know how the first two seconds of the song go, but I've never heard past that. <laughs> this is weird. Whoa. Oh, we're back. This is so weird. I love everything about this. Ooh. This is amazing. Where we're going? We're like halfway through the song. Let's go! There's that one pitch that keeps getting higher. Uh huh. What a weird song that was. That was so different from everything else in this album. That's one thing I praised on applause that I have to give them credit for here for as well. All of the songs feel so distinct and you can tell them all apart and they're all each their own thing. That's sort of something that I wish more bands would do is make their songs more unique, like very, very unique. And not many bands do that. That's kind of why I love Sleep Token a lot because all their songs feel so unique. Like each song is very different from the last. As much as I love Iliarta, a lot of their songs do sound kind of similar. Having a rap feature makes this super unique, and I wish more metal bands would do this. I love songs with rap features that metal bands do. Like Darko had, um, whatever that the the one song was with Shaolin G that was I mean it, it, Extinction was that is that what I'm thinking of? Is this an '80s love song? Okay, no, that's that's not a chord that would be in an '80s love song. Maybe it would be. I hate 80s love songs, by the way. Sorry to anybody who likes them. Acoustic guitar. There's a few other songs that I can't think of right now that use this chord progression. It's such a beautiful chord progression. Another unique chord. There's been a lot of weird unique chords in this one so far is this a diss track move away from me all right there's these background vocals that are going like get away from me move away from me <laughs> i don't know who he's talking about but this is um this is the nicest sounding diss track i've ever heard in my life this really has elements of 80s love song kind of song structure and style in a really weird way. Another weird chord out of nowhere. I liked it. But I don't have too much to say about it. Other than there were some... There were some weird chords in there that kind of came out of nowhere and caught me really off guard, but they were, they were really cool though. What is this? What is this standard metalcore riff? Ooh. That's good. That's so good. 
Ooh. Those bendies are really interesting. Let's see if they do something different with the melody. Ah, looks like no, we're just... Normally I don't like fade outs, but that hits. I think this is the last track. Nope, I'm completely wrong. There's two more. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna go back a little bit, but... This is really interesting. It's going 7, 7, 8. Listen. Like seven 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 eight one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three five six seven one two three four five six seven eight Yeah That's such a good melody too. Another major seven chord. I just love major seven chords. They're just they they always hit. I don't think I've heard a song that has a bad implementation of a major seven chord. It's just always so good. Yeah. I talked about that melody that I loved. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of fade outs, as I said. That one. I kind of wish it had ended, but I think the fade out was the better ending choice. It's traveling. It's on my left ear. It's going to the right. Oh, we're coming back. Oh! Thala? Oh. Major. Good decision. That's a strange melody. This goes so hard. This one has that sort of Egyptian, Middle Eastern kind of chord progression. Or like it, it almost has it. Because it's like a major one to a flat major two. That's, that's that chord progression. This is almost the same thing, but it's like a, a minor one to a flat major two. Whoa! Okay, hang on. I have to bring this up because it I heard it and I'm like, I can't get it out of my head now. I can't be the only one that hears this, but listen to this little section. Listen to the end of the chords here. If you know, you know. Right here. That happened several times in the song, and every time it reminded me of this. This is a theme from Hades, by the way. If you haven't played this game, it's amazing. It was like that. This one's a little different. It's similar. And it reminds me of that, but it's not quite exactly the same. I love these background little twinkly notes. Good for it. Interesting. I love this like that kind of effect going on. Oh, huh, no fade out. This was really, really good. I think 24 Light Years is still my favorite track on this album by a long shot. But the rest are still pretty good. I think as an album, it gripped me more in the first half. It kind of lost me a little bit 
in the last half of the album wasn't as good as the first few tracks like one through four were really good even freak i thought was was pretty good the rest were still good i don't know i'm not disappointed by this i'm not disappointed i didn't i didn't dislike it i'm trying to do damage control for people who are going to be mad or something and and like take this as me not liking the album no i i really liked it and i can tell it's, it's going to grow on me the more i listen to it i think the main thing that i dislike about the second half of this album is a lot of the songs kind of got too comfortable in where they were at and then they would just kind of sit there and just kind of okay this is a good melody and then we're just going to kind of do this melody and then we'll just kind of fade out and then it's over and then oh here's the next song here's a good melody here's a fun little part here's this we're going to keep doing this and then it fades out and then it's over and here's the next song and it kind of does that that's how i felt for the last few tracks whereas the first ones felt more unique and more their own thing 